be nice. It should be up to the families whether they choose to vaccinate or not. Um, and I always turn up to these wonderful protests um, because I do all the sound gigs. I've been associated with about four different groups for the last nearly two years. We had a um, different opinion of what the government tried to put on everyone else in society. Um, we put them in power and it should be up to us to sort of make the choices. How's your daughter now? Oh, she's, she's fine. She made, a, she made a full recovery, which I'm very grateful for. But I didn't want to risk um, more damage um, in constant stuff between vaccination. So as I said, it wasn't worth it. Yeah. My name is Willow, and I'll be your MC this morning. In an increasingly apathetic society, it's truly inspiring to see so many people turn out today and ready to fight for our rights. You may not know, uh, we do have rallies and events across Australia today. So we have events happening in Sydney, Melbourne, Launceston, Canberra, Perth and Adelaide. So we wish them a great day today too. Yeah. Oops, sorry. We've come... Okay. <laughs> We've come together today to show the government that we will not tolerate this erosion of human rights. We will not give up our right to choose medical procedures for our children and ourselves. And we will not be coerced or bribed through financial incentives or financial penalisation. We have a mixed crowd today. There are some of us who vaccinate. There are some of us who partially vaccinate and there are some of us who don't vaccinate at all. However, our vaccination status and that of our children is irrelevant. We have come here today because we all believe in our right to determine appropriate health care for ourselves and our children. Yeah. 